Alright, I set, set up this thing for them. So, Jan, your job is to make press stop recording when this is done. Dude, it was sick. No. Yeah. No, I, I muted it. Anyway, yeah, that was the most dominance I've ever had on Jordan in my life. Like, that was like Evo with Axe and Armada. Like, if I had... I wasn't really choking on FOD. Ah, my knee. But... Like, I was playing really safe because I didn't want to lose that lead. And I guess that was my downfall. I didn't make the right choices. But other than that, yeah, I felt really good that game. And here we get to see two really good players play continuing uh, winners. Rise versus Jordan. Um, I was really happy to see, I was really excited to see what Jordan had on the table because he just got done getting really good placings in his last turn, in his last local. And he said the reason why is because he was thinking a little bit more about what his punishes were, his approaches were. And that pulled him through the tournament really, really well. So like, I was really expecting that, but I felt like it wasn't really showing in that last game. Right now, it might be showing. I, I, it might just be because he hasn't played a Pikachu in, what, for two or three weeks. But, I don't know. I felt really, really good that game. Meanwhile, uh, it looks pretty even against Ryze and Jordan right now, so we'll see what happens. It seems like just normal Fox Peach things. Why don't... What the hell was that? Why don't you play that well every set? I literally haven't played um, Melee in tournament in forever, and I play better in tournament. I play so much better in tournament. I didn't play that well in PM today. I played okay, but um, I learned that I actually can't warm up with Pikachu because it's frustrating. So I warm up with Fox and Falco, or sorry, Fox and Marth, because um, Marth tippers are a lot like um, Pikachu tails uh, spike angles. I don't know how, I can't explain it, it's really weird. And Fox movement and punishes are a lot like Pikachu, so warming up with them prepares me for the tournament. I only had like one friendly with Pikachu before playing this, and that's what came out. Um, as you can see here, the only what Jordan's downfall is that he doesn't have approach options with Peach, and we've talked about this, Martin. Peach not having approach options, yet Jordan really wants to go in. So I know when he's going to go in. So I know all the little favorite spots that I have for Randy forward smashes or shield and uh, up smash out of shield because I just know when he's going to dash attack. I know when he's going to down smash. I was told that I should grab more. I never grabbed once, but I just don't, I just never feel like I need to if I can get an up smash off of it. But hey, I was told grabbing is just as great, so whatever. I also like this. Yeah. Yeah. Michael, you should watch the VOD I had with Jordan. It was probably the best game I've ever played in my life. The best set I've ever played in my life. I still lost, but it's the best set I've ever played in my life. Dream. He's incredible, but he's not winning. Min chip, buddy. Need min chip, buddy. It is a necessary part of the game, but. He never shielded that game. Not once. Like, what Ryze, was, what Ryze was telling me is that because he wasn't shielding enough, I should have been grabbing after his down smash and stuff. It's like, often smash more, or like, she doesn't get anything off of the grab, so then everybody can just shield for free. But you should still grab some free, so that way they can't just shield. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Also, you can, like, back up, set up for, like, edge guard and shit. Like, you want stage control, too, so, like, that helps with that. I mean, like, I'm aware of grab. It's like, it's like at that, oh, that was disgusting first time. Oh. But yeah, 
it's like not as wasn't that I was like ignoring grab. It was just that attacking, attacking. What? I did not like that side I agree, but maybe that's why Rice did it, because he did it again. He must have did it on for purpose the first time, <laughs> if that's the case. Yeah, maybe Jordan isn't feeling that good. I mean, he should be punishing those side Bs, and I think Rise is just kind of abusing that. Oh, he tried to do the Rise. Unfortunately, I feel like that's the kind of nair that kind of sets Jordan off. I feel like Jordan did this to me on FOD on our set. Uh, he, he can turn it up even if he is on the last stock or so. There it is right there. That was a sick edge guard. True? Yeah, I'll be honest. Uh, this is what I was talking about when I first got on commentary. Is that um, I was I was excited to see how Jordan would play after he just told me told us about how he was gonna play differently after getting good placings in those locals, like being patient and stuff. But I'm kind of seeing what he was doing before with like reacting to everything instead of taking his time. That, that's a little better. Right. Yeah. I'm a strong believer that, you know how, like, when you write, you write faster than you can think? Or you think faster than you can write or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot like you're moving.